Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this change. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lee Borossi. In today's video, I want us to forget for a moment the situation we are all in. I know that you guys are, like me, probably in quarantine, stuck inside, really bored, doesn't really know what to do. And I just want you to know that I'm right there with you. I'm struggling as well. And what I like to do when I'm feeling down or feeling unmotivated is to try and tackle my space at home and try to make it as fresh and as clean as possible. So in today's video, if you are in the mood for some cleaning, let's clean together. Today I'm sharing with you guys my bedroom and bathroom cleaning routine. This is a routine that I like to do once or twice a week, more often if I can, but realistically twice a week. And um, just starting my day with making my bed, I find myself being very much more or a lot more productive when I have done this as a first thing of my to-do list. And uh, if you are cleaning along with me today, tag me over on Instagram. I would love to see your results. And uh, yeah, let's keep on cleaning. I need somebody to love. Something new for my cleaning routine is that after dusting off every surface I like to go in with a disinfectant spray and disinfect all the areas where we are normally touching. Um, to do this the best way possible you should first use a multi-surface spray and then go in with a disinfectant spray to first clean the space and then disinfect the space. But I'm sure that you all know this by now. I also want to say that today's cleaning video is in collaboration with my dear friend Gabby from Mrs. Farrington's channel here on YouTube. I love this mama, she has everything that you want from a mom lifestyle channel. She do everything with a sense of humor and she's so real you guys, her kids are the cutest. She recently gave birth to her third baby girl and I love to follow her journey here on YouTube and over on Instagram. We're talking just every day and she's just so fun and I'm so grateful to be able to call her my friend. So if you don't mind after watching my video head on over to her channel and watch her cleaning video as well for some extra motivation. I can assure you she she is very motivational and she's very funny and I love her so much. So thank you Gabby for collaborating with me on this. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you. Close to you. For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like you. But I keep crashing back. After wiping down and dusting all the surfaces in my bedroom and uh, making my bed and also vacuuming the floor, I headed on over to Natalie's bedroom, my daughter that is. And I had a pile of laundry that I needed to put away, so that's what I'm doing now. I always accumulate clean clothes on top of furniture, just laying around like this. I don't know why. It's like I see them in the wrong place and I take them, I pick them up and I put them in the nearest location to where they are supposed to be, but I don't actually put them away. I don't know why I do that, but I always <laughs> do that. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyway, um, in Natalie's bedroom I like to, first of all I love to clean in here because it's so light and you can see everything so well. And I like to have white furniture because the smallest dust you will see it and as, as soon as you start to see them accumulating you know that it's time to, to clean. And I don't know about you but now when we are all home we are three people living in this apartment. It's like I need to vacuum once a day or more 
if I don't want to have dust on my floors and honestly I don't understand how it's possible. <laughs> we don't have any pets at the moment so it's crazy to me but yeah just putting the things away now. But I know it's true that nothing, no, no, nothing, I said nothing goes to you. I also want to take a moment to address something. I want to say thank you to everybody who has been praying for my grandfather. If you are new here you don't know but a few days ago or a week ago now around Easter time he was diagnosed with the virus that is going around. I don't want to say the name of it because I don't know if that can affect my channel in a negative way but uh, he has been in the intensive care for a good while now and uh, he's getting better but for a while there we were really really scared that we were gonna lose him and I opened up about this over on Instagram and many of you have prayed with me and I feel like thanks to us doing that it's like God has answered our prayers and I think I'm hoping that he will be out of the hospital soon and back to my grandmother and I'm really praying that she doesn't get it as well um, but yeah if you are personally affected from this I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you I'm praying for you and I'm praying that we're all gonna be safe and that everything is gonna go back to more or less normal soon and just know that you are not alone in this time we're all going through this we all know somebody who knows somebody if we aren't affected directly and it's hard it's a really scary time to be living right now and i have faith that we are gonna come out of this situation a lot stronger than before and i feel like we are gonna be more united than ever before and if we work together and if we support each other this can all turn around and uh, i just want you to know that i appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much for to everybody who have reached out to me and helped me pray for my grandfather thank you as long as i'm with you hey now look into my eyes you can use them as a mirror into my eyes you can use them as a mirror you're my ticket to paradise hey now look into my eyes you can use them as a mirror When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us 
here I'm cleaning my selfie mirror for my Instagram. <laughs> this mirror I actually got in Yusk and I really love this mirror. I have it in a size smaller as well. I think it comes in three different sizes. This is the medium and I have the smaller and then there's one that is like full length I think. And they are really really pretty mirrors. I will try and link it down below if I can find it. but. I don't get any profit of that, I'm just saying that I like it and I think you would too. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free. Oh, I just love her room when it's tidy. It's so pretty and say hello to Caesar. he will make an appearance here in just a moment and take a look at his hair. Oh my god! <laughs> I actually did give him a haircut the day after or two days after I filmed this so he looks like himself again. But now we are in my uh, smaller bathroom. This is my bathroom. I recently decluttered my bathroom when I was going through a rough patch. I uh, didn't film it, I just basically took away all of the small items that I had on my vanity and if you go back to my past cleaning videos I think you can see just how many things I have actually removed from the surfaces so now when I'm cleaning my bathroom it's super fast it's super easy and I feel like hmm, that's something I should have done sooner <laughs> we didn't mind sitting out in the cold it was impossible to make us embarrassed we and now I'm just spraying some uh, extra strong cleaning product on the floor. It has a little bit of bleach. But the product I was spraying my toilet with is just a disinfectant spray. But the thing I used on the floor is because we are currently potty training or Natalie is almost there. She's almost done but uh, I mean learning it. Uh, and she's actually going herself by herself now. I don't even need to be in the room with her. Um, but of course she has accidents and uh, sometimes she stands up before realizing that she has to wipe and that kind of thing. So I'm just making sure that I don't have any pee residues on the floor and that kind of thing. So I like to use a stronger product on the base of my toilet and on the floor just to be safe. When we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. I want to say thank you to Gabby again for collaborating with me on this video. If you want to check out her channel, which you absolutely should, you should check my description box down below this video to see um, the link to her channel. Just press that one and you will be right there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so. And if you are here from Gabby's channel, hi, welcome. I am so happy that you stopped by. Please stick around for more. We have so much fun around here. And I'm really, really, really trying hard to get to 1K here on YouTube. I have been doing this for a few years now, but I feel like I have recently found my passion with my channel and I really love to share motherhood and lifestyle videos with you guys. I do love my cleaning videos and I like to motivate you guys and if you haven't followed my TTC journey we are currently TTC for baby number two so please stick around for more. I can give you a little hint that we did take a break and I think that the break is over <laughs> so if you want to stay um, in the note of that if you want to to know then absolutely subscribe i normally also mop after vacuuming but yesterday i did do a deep clean of the bathroom so that's why i'm not doing it in the video today but this routine usually includes me mopping the floor as well that I'm still keeping to myself Cause you don't listen, babe But still you got me missing you When I see
And that's including all of my cleaning routine for my bedroom and bathroom today, friends. So, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you and I'm praying for you. If you have any prayer requests, you can always leave them down below. Much love. Bye.